Hey, what's up? This is Sam from Tig Schooling, and I'm the skeleton in front of you. Hey, 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 hey. All right, I'm just kidding. All right, today we are talking about the laryngeal muscles. Very easy, very understandable. After watching this lecture, if you don't understand larynx, I'll pay you ten dollars. Just kidding. I won't pay you anything. But trust me. I, I will try to make this lecture as easy as possible. So we're talking about the laryngeal muscle. We know the, uh, hope you heard the two other lectures on cartilages and introduction of the larynx. After that, you can watch the third lecture. This is about the laryngeal muscle, which is an organ located in the anterior neck. It is component of the respiratory tract and has several important functions, which include your phonation, cough, and uh, cough reflex, and protection of the lower respiratory tract. So in case of muscles of the larynx, we can divide them into two groups, the external muscle and the internal muscle. The external muscle act to elevate and depress your larynx during swallowing. In contrast, the internal muscle act to move the individual components of the larynx, playing a vital role in breathing and phonation. First, we'll be talking about the extrinsic muscles because we have divided into them into two groups. Extrinsic muscles are located outside and intrinsic muscles are located inside. But the picture you're watching or the, or the 3D model you're watching, I only showed in this the extrinsic muscle. First we'll discuss the extrinsic muscle, after that we'll move inside and I'll show you the intrinsic muscle. So remember the extrinsic muscle, if you want to remember them, they are very easy to remember. The extrinsic muscles act to move the larynx superiorly and inferiorly. They are comprised of the suprahyoid and infrahyoid groups of muscle. If you remember them, I'm going to show you them. Also, I'm going to again show you uh, these muscles in this diagram. But if you remember them, this would be very easy. Suprahyoid and infrahyoid muscles are which, uh, and another muscle which is a muscle of pharynx that is stalopharyngeus also is the component of the extrinsic muscle of your what I call the uh, length relative larynx. So first talk about the suprahyoid muscle which are important important. So suprahyoid muscles are those muscles which are superior to your hyoid bone. So this is your hyoid bone. So if it, the very easy formula to remember the suprahyoid muscle there are four in group. So remember there are four suprahyoid muscles and four infrahyoid muscle. This four suprahyoid muscle you can remember them by a formula that is DSMG. So DSMG which stands for the digastric. This is the big structure digastric and this is the posterior belly of digastric and this guy comes around and makes up the anterior belly of your digastric. The second, this is D, then we got S. So S stands for stylohyoid. That probably means which is coming from the styloid process up to the hyoid bone. So this is your stylohyoid muscle. After that, we have got M, which stands for mylohyoid. So this is your mylohyoid muscle. And after that, uh, the, the superior, we have got the G, which is geniohyoid. So if you look inside from the posterior view, this is your G muscle, which is your genio hyoid muscle this is the right genial hyoid muscle so this is uh, these are the muscle of suprahyoid now let's talk about the infrahyoid muscle which are located inferior to your hyoid bone so those again include the four in groups the first would be very easy to remember you can you can and you can tell them by looking at the picture so this is your from coming from hyoid bone to the sternum so this is external hyoid from sternum to the hyoid and again from the thyroid to the Hyoid from the sternum to the uh, thyroid. This is the external thyroid. So external hyoid, external thyroid, and from the sides you can see these small muscle coming from the hyoid to thyroid. So these are thyrohyoid muscle. And last muscle is your this big muscle, which is the omohyoid muscle. So these are four muscles which are below the hyoid bone which we call the infrahyoid muscle group and above we call the suprahyoid group muscle. So both of these groups together with another muscle which is a muscle of pharynx that is a stylopharyngeus muscle together all of them form the extrinsic muscle. If somebody is asking you how many muscles are there you will be answering that total of nine 
types of muscles because all, all most of all of the muscles have two they are they are in pair so you say nine and total of 18 muscles so remember the supra infrared muscles group attached to the hyoid bone this in turn is bound to the larynx by strong ligaments allowing the whole of the larynx to be moved as one unit so as a general rule you rem you must remember the suprahyoid muscles are located superior to the hyoid bone and the stylopharyngeus they elevate the larynx because they are located superiorly so they you pull them upward they are going to elevate the muscle while the infrahyoid muscle they actually usually depress your larynx that was very easy to talk about the uh, intrinsic muscle now let's move towards and talk about the intrinsic muscle of the larynx.